I'm Ian and I'm one of the founders of Based Upon. I'm Lex and I am a co-founder also of Based Upon. Sometime in 2004, my brother and I decided we wanted to set up a creative studio and I'd seen the work of Lex some years earlier. I'd seen a public sculpture that he'd done. And so our first step was to go and find this guy and ask him if he wanted to be in our band. And then we subsequently recruited lots and lots of different creatives who have different skills to ourselves. We've always tried to follow that model of finding people that can do something that we can't so that they can bring something new into the mix. It's very much a collaborative process with the other members of the team and allowing people to be masters of their own skill or their own craft right along the journey and not being defined by category has allowed us to suddenly take on a musical instrument. We've actually previously created much more sculptural piano. Now we have a bit of a track record of making instruments. All of our clients would often ask us, what is the instrument inside? Is it a Steinway? Very nice to meet you. Great to be here. Wow. This is perfection. I think this is exactly what Steinway is all about. It illustrates the best of craftsmanship. When you're talking about a brand that is 160 years old, still very relevant and still considered the top of its market, you've got to be very sensitive to how you approach that because when we're making commissioned works for clients, we want them to treasure it in 30 years time. And we know that to do that, it has to be about them. We have to capture their essence. So the same thought process brought it to this. What is it that makes the Steinway piano Steinway piano? and we distilled that down into two elements. One was the, the sculptural silhouette. It's almost like a single gesture that wraps around the entire form. Even from here there, you get that single curvature that wraps its way around this slight gesture. And the second was the sound, obviously. We couldn't risk influencing the specifics of the sonic experience, which had been refined over that many years, which is why we bring the music desk out because when you peer into a Steinway and you get that gorgeous kind of golden cast iron soundboard and you see the strings you realize you know what, what you're working with. So this is all taken from the uh, abstraction from the, the sky, from the night sky. One of the relationships we always had with New York was that it, it's a place where it causes you to look up. Kinesthetically is a really important part of the creative process. It's where we go when we, take, when we want to imagine something or we want to find an idea. We look up and New York has that effect, right? It's constantly being drawn up, which is why we honored the sky and the, the sense of the stars on that lid. So this is, look, actually Manhattan skyline. But then when it's reflected, so it's like the city being reflected when you see it from the Hudson River, it then actually looks like a sound wave. You can see the sort of the syllables and so it was and I thought, hang on, that could actually be. So that's actually me saying New York. And you actually don't realise quite what it is we've done to the to the form until you witness it next to an existing piano. 